everybody. I'm going to be sharing some information with you guys on the reasons why we use crystals in our tarot card readings. I've had quite a few of you email me and want to know why the reasons why we use uh, candles and incense in our tarot card readings, and I'm going to be explaining that to you. We're going to start off with the incense. When we light incense, it actually brings a calming, peaceful, serenity type effect to our readings. It actually grounds and centers us and helps us to focus. The smell, uh, it's more or less like aromatherapy. It actually helps us to de-stress, to unwind, and to help clear our mind and clear our thoughts. Because it is the symbol of air, the elemental symbol of air, it's actually meant to uh, slow the mind down, still the mind down, so that way we can focus on what we need to do in the task at hand. Our candle is the symbolization of the spirit aspect. And what you're saying whenever you light a candle is that, okay, I'm calling on my guides, I'm calling on my messengers. You are saying to them whenever you light this, okay, I'm ready to receive the white light knowledge that you want to give to me. Um, what else could I... It's, it's, we call it a spirit candle. And in a sense, it's just like, it's like, okay, let's go. We're ready. We're ready to do this. So you're bringing a sense of spirituality or a spiritual aspect to your reading so that way you can receive the right, correct information that, that you need at that time. As far as crystals go, now, you don't have to have a lot of crystals, okay? The one crystal that you should have is a clear quartz crystal. Um, sometimes they're milky, they're milk, you see they're milk quartz or clear quartz, okay? These right here are pretty much do-alls. They will do absolutely everything. They are receivers, they are also channelers. So if I wanted to, let's say for example, I'm reading for somebody and they're having issues with opening up. So what I could do is I could hold the crystal and visualize a rose in the center of that crystal, okay, and see the crystal absorbing the image and then opening the flower up and sending the energy out around this person so that they feel better about themselves or maybe they're having issues with trusting themselves. And so this, once it's programmed, I can say, okay, I'm going to set this here, and now what I'm going to do, this is, a, this is a pointer, this is a messenger. So what I could do is like, okay, that is charged. Now I'm going to take this, butt it up against this one, and I'm going to send that energy off to that person so that they feel better about themselves, and they feel okay or they feel secure. The other things that you can do is that you can actually... Um, also program the crystals for, say, okay, I tell that crystal that I want to have white light energy, a white light bubble around me while I'm doing this, and that's what the crystal will do. You can, if somebody feels uncomfortable, you can get them to hold the crystal while they're doing tarot card readings. Um, but the main aspect is that it absorbs all the negative energy that's, that's around the person, around you, around the environment, and sucks it in and turns it into positive energy and radiates it back out. Purple quartz, raw purple quartz, this is what this one is. Um, this is connected to your psychic center or your third eye. This actually is meant for you to open your door to your third eye, um, to your messengers, your spirit guides, to connect with them and help strengthen your abilities to help see the information that you need to get across to that other person. Quartz crystal, rose quartz, um, this is a feminine crystal. Um, it's connected to the element of earth, and it's connected to your heart chakra. This actually is really good to give to women when they've been in traumatic relationships, um, domestic violence issues, things like that, where they can hold on to this. 
and and help them to ground and center while they're asking for their reading so that they can receive an accurate true reading. Now this right here is a uh, this one is a a snow quartz and snow quartz is actually meant for people that are having issues with relationships like the relationship has gotten cold um, there's no emotion there's no feeling so um, if I feel that the person is having relationship issues then I would drag out a bunch of these and center around the table so that way I could get to the root of why they're feeling the way they are with their relationship or why is their partner feeling the way they are um, for taking care of the crystals it, like for example if the person has handled this and I'm burning something like sage rosemary uh, juniper then you would just nonchalantly you know, run your crystal through the sage or the juniper or whatever it was that you wanted to cleanse your crystal with and eventually your crystal would say okay stop that's enough I can't handle that no more and you just put your crystal back down and it's, and it's pretty much ready to go the book that I want to share with everybody if you're seriously seriously wanting to start using crystals uh, in your tarot card readings this is a very very straight forward to the point book on healing crystals um, I have used this so much and it's, it's been a pivotal part of, of what I do um, there's a picture of a rose quartz and the really neat thing is that they're all color coded see these little dots this is a, uh, a pink dot it tells you about all the there's all the pink stones all the green stones and here on the side there is actually a properties chart of how you can use the crystal uh, rose quartz pink symbolic associations uh, sun sign Taurus, planet Venus, elements Earth, candle colors are pink, guardian angel, uh, A S H M O D I E L. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna chop that all up. Heart chakra, corresponding herbs: vervain, echinacea, feverfew, geranium, mugwort, strawberry, and ylang ylang. Flowers, apple blossoms, daisies, lilacs, and rose. Associated crystals. Now, if you want to use, if you wanted to punch up the energy of your crystal, your rose quartz, then you would use amethyst, moonstone, and jade. So, technically, if I'm doing my tarot card reading, I've got a moonstone out. Well, guess what? Then I've already got a corresponding stone, and I actually have a piece of jade. So you actually, through these other stones, enhance this crystal right here to do what it, what it needs to do. So hopefully you guys will go out and check out the book. And if anybody has any questions on anything that's, that's here, just, just give me a holler, and I would love to answer your questions for you. So thank you for watching. Merry meet and merry part. Blessed be.